In Spain, Socialist Party, led by Prime Minister José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero, suffered its worst defeat in regional elections since Franco died. The opposition People's Party won 38% of the vote in the weekend poll. Protests against cutbacks and unemployment left the Socialists with just 28%. They ceded Seville and lost control of Barcelona for the first time since 1979. The German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, was also on the wrong end of a debt crisis drubbing this weekend. Her party fell to third place in a state election in Bremen, its worst result in 50 years. You know, the CDU has lost support in all five state elections this year. It says voters are angry at Germany spending to prop up the European periphery. For more on the election defeats, Elliot Gotkins here. I mean, Zapatero, he'll be staying, of course, we presume, but this could really be a game changer. Well, the El Pais, which is Spain's biggest selling newspaper, is describing this as a tsunami and it's saying that it doesn't know whether the Zapatero's Socialist Party is going to be washed away or manage to keep on swimming until next year's election. Certainly there's no calls for him to step down by the opposition just yet or indeed the protesters uh, in the uh, main square in Madrid, uh, tens of thousands of them there. Now, what this does, of course, politically, it's humiliating. Economically, there are two things that it does. First of all, these new regional governments and these new municipal governments may come in and reveal the true horror of their public finances. And let's not forget the uniqueness of Spain's democracy means that these regional governments, they have a huge amount of leeway when it comes to spending on education, on health, on hiring public sector workers, and all of that contributes to Spain's overall public finances as well. And the other thing, of course, is that with Zapatero from the Socialist Party in the federal government in Madrid, and now the People's Party ruling the roost throughout Spain in most of the regions and most of the municipalities, he's going to have less sway over them to ensure that they rein in spending and he can stick to his austerity programme.